Hello, my friends. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. We're on page 37. Page 37 is about the second conditional. But first, the first conditional. We know this. If Joe doesn't change clothes, he will freeze. This is about something in the future. First conditional, future. Zero conditional. This is about things in general, not about the future. For example, if I drink coffee at night, I don't sleep well. This is always true. This is not the future. This is things in general, the zero conditional. But today we're talking about the second conditional. For example, if I won the lottery, I'd buy a beach house. This in Portuguese is, se eu ganhasse a lateria, eu compraria a beach house. The second conditional. Now, the second conditional is for imaginary situations and their possible consequences. We use if and unless plus the simple past for the imaginary situation and we use would and a verb for the possible consequence. For example, if I lived near the beach, I would learn to surf. If I lived near the beach is the imaginary situation. I would learn to surf is the possible consequence. Se eu morasse near the beach, eu aprenderia to surf. Now, when the if or the unless part is first, we use a comma to separate it from the possible consequence. However, if the possible consequence comes first and the imaginary situation comes second, no comma is needed. Look, no comma here. No comma when the if part is second. All right, second conditional in the negatives. For example, if I lived near the beach, I wouldn't learn to ice skate. Well, this is easy. We just add a not to the end of would. Wouldn't the contraction or would not. Very easy in the negative. Second conditional yes and no questions. For example, if you lived near the beach, would you learn to swim? Now, in yes or no questions and in all questions, would is before the subject. In this example, the subject is you. If you live near the beach, would you learn to swim? Again, would goes before the subject. Would you learn to swim? Would he learn to swim? Would I learn to swim? Etc. And we have short answers. His boss is Cortes. Yes, I would. Or no, I wouldn't. Or yes, he would. No, he wouldn't. Etc. Now, Second conditional WH questions. Now, remember, WH questions have a who, what, when, where, why, or a how. For example, if you won a million dollars, where would you live? And this is easy. With WH questions, simply put the WH word, the who, what, when, where, why, or how, before would. Where would you live? Why would you live there? When would you live there? Etc. Okay, conditional with verb to be. And this is for zero conditional, first conditional, or second conditional. Now, we typically only use were in if clauses. For example, here is the conjugation of the verb to be in the past. I was, you were, she, he, it was, we were, they were, which is era and estava. Now, typically, this is I was rich. Eu estava rico, or eu era rico. But in the conditional, in the if clauses, we always use were. So this is not true in conditional. We would say, if I were rich, if you were rich, if she were rich, if he were rich, if it were rich, if we were rich, if they were rich. In conditional sentences with if, 
We don't use was. We use were with the verb to be. Okay, other vocabulary for today. Give up. In the simple past, gave up. The um, past participle, given up. This is to decide to stop doing something. In Portuguese, desistir. For example, well, I recently learned how to play the guitar, and I'll never give up learning the guitar. Give up, gave up, given up. Unusual. Unusual is something that is not normal. For example, Faustown's clothes are often a little unusual, a little strange. Buyers. Buyers are people who buy. For example, there are few buyers at the mall these days. Buyers. Players play. Buyers buy. A ton. A ton is a unit of weight. For example, elephants can weigh up to seven tons. Tons in Portuguese are tonelados. Surround. In the past, surrounded. This is to be in every direction around something. In Portuguese, circar. For example, the Amazon rainforest surrounds Manaus. Here is Manaus. And the rainforest, the Amazon, surrounds it. Raw. Raw is something that is not cooked. For example, sushi is raw fish. Raw in Portuguese is cru. Sure. Sure is a synonym with the beach. For example, my aunt has a house on the shore. Here it says my aunt has a shore on the shore, but my aunt has a house on the shore. True. Sure, synonym with the beach. A squid. This is a squid. I don't know what a squid is in Portuguese, but this is a squid in English. A tuna fish. This is a tuna fish. In Portuguese, a tuna fish is atun. Tuna fish. And finish. Complete. Bye-bye. See you later, alligator in a while crocodile. Bye-bye, my friends.